Hey folks, it's Marvin Cash, the host of the Articulate Fly, and we're back with another Western North Carolina fishing report with the Nanahala Sasquatch himself, Gordon Vanderpool. How's it going, Gordon? What's up, man? I'm hanging in there, no complaints. Well, they, same old, same old. Yeah, and so uh, it sounds like you probably you got good temperatures and you got good water now, so how are things in your neck of the woods? Oh, it's crazy how things can go from so rough to so good in just a matter of a week or two. Um, we got water almost on the verge of having too much right now. So we need to slowly come down because we got more rain coming this week, but uh, things have shaped up really quite nicely with the temperatures and the water. That's great. And I know last time we spoke, we were talking about how um, the fishing was unusually technical, even for delayed harvest fish, given how low and clear the water was, how have conditions changed? Yes, um, that is, that was definitely the case. Um, you know, we, we see more pressure on our DH waters and trout waters in general than we have ever before, you know, each year that, you know, escalates into more, more fishermen and the same amount of fish. So these fish are getting pounded, but now we have, uh, some water to give them a little bit more shelter, uh, so they don't have to feel quite as shy with people standing over them. So that helps, uh, they're still, you know, still getting pounded. But, you know, at least they can feed a little bit more opportunistically instead of kind of going that selective route. So it's definitely helping with that. Your drifts don't necessarily have to be as tight. You know what I mean? Yeah, got it. And you probably get to po- possibly get away with 5X and maybe fishing some of those traditional DH patterns. I'm sure there's some people fishing five. I'm still guiding with six and a half, probably pretty consistently. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I don't ever throw five, Marvin, to be honest. It feels like rope to me you know uh but yeah we we're still we're hammering them you know we throw throwing you know it's good you can still get away with some of the you know the aggressive stuff like the mops the worms and eggs and stuff like that um you get into that skinny water which there still is skinny water and crystal clear water and this fish been pounded just scale everything down you know pressured fish get shy so just kind of use your head on that Got it. And we've got a question for you. Chris reached out over Facebook and wanted to know when you were going to start shipping more fly time videos. Oh, Chris, man, way to call me out. I appreciate that. Good. Um, you know, they're coming. Um, no excuse other than the fact that life has just kind of gotten away here the last six, eight months with kiddos. And I'm just not doing a very good job of finding time to sneak away and make these videos. But, but I've been working on it, the camera stuff, trying to get stuff in order so it's going to be soon i'm going to get back 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 on it and crank them out so thanks for holding me accountable chris and what chris is that did he leave a last name i think it was harris i don't have the last name in front of me oh gotcha chris harris cool well thanks man yeah well Um, dude you gotta make it happen soon yeah you got a new camera you gotta gotta shoot some time videos yeah man i've been this photography bug has bit me hard like it's like poison. That's all I can think about when I'm not fishing. Even when I am fishing, I'm trying to think of how I can set up a good shot for my clients. It's crazy. Well, that's awesome. And folks, if you have a question for Gordon, if you'll send it to us on the Articulate Fly Facebook page, if we use your question, uh, I'll send you some Articulate Fly swag and you will be entered into a drawing uh, at the for the end of the season and the winner will get some Gordon Vanderpool original flies. Um, so we got to keep the tradition alive, Gordon. Uh, what's your most valuable medal for this fishing report? Yeah. Hair nation. Once again, it's winger miles away. As I like to say, it's a good one. Well, that's awesome folks. Like I always do, I'll drop the video in the uh, show notes on the website and, uh, in the show notes everywhere else too. And before I let you hop, why don't you let folks know where they can find you so they can book and fish with you this fall. Yeah, sure. Uh, website's www.flyfishingwnc.com and Instagram and Facebook is Gordon Vanderpool or Turning Stones Fly Fishing. You should be able to find me there. That's great. And folks, remember, we've got relatively new articulate fly apps for Android and for the iPhone, and it's going to be the best way in the future to get all of the bonus content uh, that we're shipping out. So go to your favorite app store and download those and It's cool. It's my favorite time of the year to fish, folks. You need to get out and catch a few. Tight lines, everybody. Tight lines, Gordon. Tight lines, Marvin. Have a good one.